But what's interesting is when I watched the show for the first time, what I thought was really profound was when the sharks, these successful people, started talking about their journeys uh, mm -hmm. of suffering and failure, sleeping in their cars, not having enough money to make payroll, um, being stressed out of their mind, uh, living at their office under their desk. And that was really, you know, in the first season ever of Shark Tank, I don't know when that was. It must have been 10 years ago, 11 years ago, 12 years ago, can't remember. I really had this shift where I realized, whoa, there's this, there's this other reality that we're not seeing, that mm. people aren't talking about. Everybody's talking about their success and these great things and great results, but no one's talking about the road and the journey, which mm. is what really builds you up. So when I saw that and, and I heard about all these failures and challenges, it really opened my eyes up and it made me realize, okay, if you want to get to this point B that all of us want to get to, whether it's in our relationships, finances, career, or whatever, there, there's a road of, of some suffering along the way. Yeah, this is called in yoga tapas, you know, that, uh, that, that, that discipline to keep going through. You know, and, and it's overwhelming, I respect that. You know, if you have to lose like 50, 60 pounds, and you think about it, 50, 60 pounds to here, that's a far away, you know? I'm reminded of this time when I had the privilege to hike the Himalayas. So we were in a, in a little village and I saw the mountain, the snow-tipped mountain. Like, wow, that's so far away. It's so overwhelming. It's so far away. But what's not so far away? Taking a deep breath is not so far away. Just one deep breath. Taking one step is not so far away. And one breath, one step, one breath. Before you know it, you're, you're on your way there, you know? So... Yes, it, it might seem overwhelming from where you are to where you want to be, but the next step is not overwhelming. One deep, mindful breath is not overwhelming, you know? If that's the starting point, bravo, start with that, you know? I, and I've worked, I worked with people with severe conditions, uh, physical and mental. I myself, as you might know, not to dwell on it, was completely paralyzed a few years ago. Yeah, talk a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, I had this very rare medical condition called Guillain-Barre syndrome. And, uh, and for a while, I became like a plank of wood. Nothing was working. Uh, I had to tape over my eyes because I couldn't blink. Um, I could barely breathe. So, wow. uh, you know, I, I relate to that. I relate to being absolutely, utterly helpless. And I remember thinking to myself, oh yeah, I'm still breathing. Cool. You know, I have something to be grateful for. So I try to breathe a little bit better. And suddenly my little finger started to move. I'm like, cool, my little finger's moving. You know, let's keep moving that. The next finger starts to move. So focus on that 0.1% that's working. It'll soon become 0.5% and soon 1%, then 5%, 10, 15, 20, 60. That's how you get back. Start simple. Focus on what is working for you. Are you breathing right now? Fantastic. That's working for you. Take a deep breath.